Hello everyone and welcome to another video. The Mini Golf is one of the worst rides in the game. It has an abysmal throughput resulting in very long wait times and minimal profit, it has a super high running cost and it has the most expensive ride supports in the game. This is a design with 31 holes, all of them being the easiest one that you can put in. The easier the hole, the faster the guests will get through it, although repeating just one hole might get a tad boring near the end. The reason that this particular design has 31 holes is that the game stops counting after that so adding more doesn't give you extra stats. But what if we added more holes anyway? Introducing the Mini Golf of Madness. It starts off simple, all you have to do is get the ball into the hole on the easiest hole in the game. Once you've done that you just need to do it again. And again. And again. And again. 31,864 times. I would advise bringing some water and some snacks with you as it might take a while to complete all the holes. Unfortunately Dylan S here was so excited about showing off his mini golf skills that he forgot to bring anything so he's not going to have a great time later on. You would expect Dylan to become better the more holes he's completed but I don't really see much improvement. Even after over 9000 holes he still had a lot of trouble getting a hole in one. On the other hand, you could also see it as a great achievement that even after many years of doing swing after swing, Dylan still has enough energy and dexterity to complete a hole in only a few swings. Our protagonist doesn't seem to be too happy at the halfway point, but he continues to play as he understands that if he stops, he violates the most core principle of Roller Coaster Tycoon and will burn in hell for all of eternity. Don't feel bad for him, he knew what he signed up for when he joined the queue. This is also the point where not taking any food or drinks with him takes its toll as Dylan is getting quite hungry and thirsty. His mom told him not to forget many times, but he still forgot anyway. I suppose this is a good learning opportunity for him to not forget it in the future. After more than 110 years, Dylan finally completes the last hole and is relieved of the madness. And he immediately joins the queue again, without getting some supplies. Either he is just stupid and didn't learn anything, or he has gone mad and as a result enjoys the suffering. If you want to pull a Phineas and Ferb and build it in your backyard, it is yours for slightly less than 2 million bucks, which isn't all that much actually. You do need a big yard, as the size is about 1000 by 1000 meters, or 1 square kilometer. After you've built it you can sit back, relax and watch the people who play it slowly go insane. For the curious people here are the stats. Because the game cannot count past 31 holes and 32 and a bit kilometers of length the excitement rating isn't that high but for an undecorated mini golf it's quite great. That said, I don't recommend building this if you want a good ride that makes you lots of money, as even for a mini golf it's obviously pretty terrible. And that was the introduction to the mini golf of madness. I hope that unlike the guests you still have your sanity, and if you do you can look in the description and find a download of the bark. You can also find a like button somewhere around the video and I'd be honored if you pressed it. Additionally, you can subscribe for more content or follow me on Twitch to watch me drive guests insane live. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.